Hello guys, so three days ago I made a video remembering the astronauts who died in the Space Disaster Challenger and today I'm actually going to be unfortunately doing another remembrance sort of video on the Space Shuttle Columbia and Columbia is a space mission um, and and disaster that I know a lot more about in fact I was alive when it happened and that happened in February the 1st 2003 it was a space um, shuttle, much like this one, um, which carried seven astronauts into orbit. And unfortunately, during the actual launching of this rocket, a little piece of foam fell off. And it's a basically a weightless piece of foam. But as it was travelling so fast, it punctured one of these heat shield pads, or tiles as it was known. And it was fine. They went up into orbit. They completed their mission successfully. And there are even videos of them in orbit and it's a bit a bit grim, quite freaky, but um and very unfortunate and sad. But upon re entry they disintegrated and all of them were killed. Chem and two thirds of the remains of the space shuttle is still missing today. And in fact NASA knew of this problem. They knew that they were gonna die on re entry and they continued the mission. They said they didn't tell them anything about it so that they died knowing they had a successful flight. And I find that pretty sad, and I'm actually going to try flying this space shuttle today. And believe me, I'm terrible at flying anything in this game. And um, I'm going to do my best. In fact, it's not that good because the Kerbal Space Program thinks we're in orbit. But I'm going to try flying this space shuttle, and I hope for, for everyone's sake that I don't disintegrate on re entry, which I'm sure I'm going to do. But um, I think it's a bit interesting. I think we should all appreciate the astronauts who go up into space. Um, obviously, it's the most dangerous thing in the world, pretty much, to do. And yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so in 10 seconds, we shall launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's firing, and the shuttle is launching into space. Um, in fact, I haven't put any kerbals in, not by um, intention, but um, we're going to fly an empty crew today, or just fly it from the ground, which I think is a bit safer. But less science can be done. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to do my best, because... I'm a bit, I don't want this to curve over too much, that would be a bit dangerous. Well, I say dangerous, it would be a bit worrying. So, everything's going okay. Usually when I see um, a um, space shuttle take off, in fact, the space shuttle um, has been retired now, there's no more flights of it. Um, only the Soyuz goes up into space and joins the International Space Station, which coincidentally, I have indeed launched. Um, which one is it? It's probably going to be this one. Uh, yeah, come on, I'll, I'll quickly show you my amazing space station. Oh no, I can't. Oh well. But when I get to space, I'll be able to show you. It's um, basically just this rotating thing. Okay, so we're almost running out of fuel. Let's just try and stay up a bit more. Possibly, if we get to a bit, that's quite a good thing to do, but I don't think I will. This is quite a difficult thing to fly, but I've never flown it. Yes. Um, yeah, we could sort of see it, but for some reason I'm focusing on Earth, which I don't like. Let's just rotate around a bit. And keep going up, because really we don't want to start off our um, gravitational turn before we're too high, otherwise we'll burn up the actual. Um, in fact, I'm wishing I had put some people in it, because then I could look out the window. But How do I focus on this then? 
I don't know. Anyone, please help me. How do I focus up? Let's keep going. Just so we can orbit the Earth and get into the night side will be good. In fact, we'll try to land in the night side. Still going higher and higher. 27,000 meters. It's a long way down. Don't want to fall. I mean, the space shuttle is my favourite um, thing really to watch when it like, is in things landing. Which <laughs> I'll start that again. Really. Um, it's a really nice thing to watch that because just the way it executes backwards down first and front and then deploy parachutes which are synchronized. Which happens, you know, when you're going at 100 to 27,000 meters a second in orbit and then just down to 6. Incredible. Right, there we go. So our orbit's alright. Ish. Now we're in orbit. I'm just going to try and keep going until we get to the pack zone. At which point we can then... In fact, we're doing a unusual bit. I was hoping we'd go that way, but oh well. We can deal with it. It's the closest I've got with this space shuttle. So usually I'll break it before I go into the properly. We're doing all right. We keep going up. In fact, we may not even need to do a orbit thing with our... and uh, we probably will. As long as we keep our apolapsis apolaps going up, that'll be all right. As we spread across the Earth. Start turning into this way now, just so we get a bit more speed in this direction. I don't like that, so we're still going up. Well, all in all, with this, it's just falling, falling so quickly that you can, the Earth goes by you. This is all right. I hope I have parachutes. I don't think I do. good orbit. Let's just spread that a bit over. That's pretty decent. That'll do. Oh, we're now doing what I don't like doing and that usually causes us to explode. Um, we start spinning and <laughs> if I detach, I can't detach it because otherwise I can't, I can't stop spinning. If I start spinning, how long have we got? We've got a lot of time. Try and stop. Actually, if we just um, press X, that that will do it. That will do it. See, then we can just go. I think that's detached, isn't it? No. There we go. <gasps> I've actually made it. All right. Okay, we're not we're not actually there yet. We want to be in orbit so we can actually do some science. Um, in fact, why is that not going? Ah, see here I've made a little mistake. I've um, just just excuse me here. Just that was um, that was a feature. Um, ah, that wasn't a very good feature. In fact, we're gonna we just lost our engines. Well, loops X. Okay, come on, stop. In fact, I'm not gonna ever be able to come out into proper orbit now because I haven't got any propellants. Let's just turn that infinite fuel off because that worked a great treat. Um, right, we're slowing down a bit now. There we go. So that's quite. And uh, we made it. Let's go and open our. Um, I don't know. We slowed. Opened it too quickly. There we go. We can do some science in space. In fact, what's that? I don't know. We can. You see, this is. <laughs> I like this. Part. Um. Can we do anything with it? Oh, we can extend the panels. Oh yes! We are doing real science. Deploy scanner. Oh, we're almost at our apolapsis. Wish we could go forward. I mean, look! We're in space, we made it. 
and I'm hoping we can have a safe landing. Retract scanner. Re Shut down the engine. So we can wait. Ah, uh, and you see, ah, uh, if I hadn't I'd been an idiot and lost those engines, we could have made it. Alright, so let's try and make it. In fact, I did have a deadly re entry add on to make it harder, but I'm gonna remove th I removed that for this. Shall we try and land this scene then? Check our wheels work. So, 10,000 meters, 1,000 meters a second, that's quite fast. Look at everything, All right. We And now we're falling very quickly. Um, oh, we didn't quite make it into the light side, which is a shame. Perhaps we'll land in the ice cap. So, let's just get these controls of this right. Here we go. Come into like an angle like that. There we go. Right. Come on, I'm really hoping we can pull this landing off. There we go. We're now coming back into the atmosphere. Traveling at 2,000 meters a second. Remember, we have to slow down to 6 meters a second. That's unfortunately, wish we had included parachutes. Whoops. In fact, no, no. Right, this is. Are we going to land in the seat? Yeah, we are. Woo, that's not good. As long as we survive re entry, I'll count that. Perhaps we'll be able to use the speed and glide a bit. Okay, so we're coming in quite a steep angle, which means we might. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, come on. Right, we're safe from overheating in front now. White hot, come on. In fact, the shuttle was very very expensive thing to repair after it came out of orbit. I mean, it needs to be completely refitted. Whereas the Soyuz is just perfect. Okay, we are really overheating now. Okay, I've, I've messed this up. Uh, well, we've got a scanner going. So see, even I can do In fact, even I say even I. I'm Oh, come on, come on, scanner. Come on, one bit. Salvaged. I think so. So, just a scanner. <laughs> I mean, look at the debris of that. I can understand why. There we are. The shuttle is a very difficult thing to pilot. I guess that was it. I hope you enjoyed listening to the stories of the space shuttle. Um, obviously. I'm going to continue making Fallout Who Vegas videos because I know you want them, but I wanted to just break from that to just talk about this today. In fact, the Columbia um, is quite tragic, in fact, and um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.